New tonight at 7, video of gunfire ringing out at an Amazon warehouse in West Jefferson. No one was hurt inside the warehouse. Law enforcement later found the suspect, Ali Hamza Yusuf, driving on Hall Road. Next, a shootout, an officer injured and the suspect dead. The newly obtained video shows the Amazon employee Yusuf targeted narrowly escaped death. According to West Jefferson Police, the incident happened around 4.45 Sunday afternoon. 22-year-old Ali Hamza Yusuf, a security guard assigned to the facility by a third-party contractor, is seen in this video standing behind a man at the security desk. He's holding a gun and fires at least one shot from just feet away. The bullet misses and the victim takes off running. The suspect briefly follows him before deciding to leave, exiting with his gun still in hand. Newly released police body camera video captures the moment responding officers receive the call about the chaos at the warehouse. They're evacuating the building. Everybody's running out of the building. By the time police arrive minutes later, the building is clear. Hi. Columbus police tell NBC4 the officer who was hurt in the shooting was treated and released from the hospital. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is looking into this case. Hey guys, welcome back to Motivation and Box Trucking. Peak is around the corner and chaos is bound to come with it. So, I just want to share with y'all a couple of videos of the crazy Amazon shootings that have occurred over the past few years. I really started thinking about this earlier this year, but you know, we kind of took a hiatus from uh, doing YouTube videos. So I never really got a chance to touch on this topic. Um, but yeah, there was an incident at one of the facilities in Richmond that took a young lady's life. Um, this was during the summertime when we had our 17 week contract for um, DVA two to Rick five. It was crazy because we were, delivering but luckily that happened at a time that we weren't there um we were delivering in the mornings and i believe this happened overnight or later on in that evening but the next day when we went to pick up our normal delivery the facility had shut down um you know it was just they didn't tell you why i just ended up sitting on the news and that just made me want to further look into amazon shootings you know, I go down rabbit holes, as you know, <laughs> so this is just one of them. So you can take this journey with me. Keep in mind, peak season is around the corner. You need to make sure that you're coming with an attitude of patience. <laughs> and patience is a virtue that could possibly keep you alive. Warehouse off Bellwood Road appears to be domestic. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm John Burkett. Chesterfield County detectives continue their investigation after a woman was found in the parking lot by an Amazon delivery van with a gunshot wound. She died on scene at the Bellwood Warehouse Friday night. Amazon officials confirm the woman was an employee of a delivery service partner that contracts with their company. Amazon corporate sent a statement saying we're deeply troubled by this terrible incident and are offering support to our team and partners based at our Richmond area delivery station. This is an active investigation and we we are cooperating with the Chesterfield County Police Department, so we defer further comment to them at this time. You know, it is definitely an unfortunate event, um, but it seems like it's a common occurrence across America with these Amazon facility shootings. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually more incidents that occur definitely between drivers, um, but it seems like just like with the Amazon crashes, that Amazon only reports or claims the incidents that occur with their actual employees. So I'm not sure exactly, um, you know, if these numbers are accurate when it comes to how many facilities have issues with employee violence. But, you know, with peak season around the corner, please don't make me feature you in one of these videos. There are several 911 calls where employees describe the moments that shots were fired inside this Amazon center. The evidence also includes a conversation Biffle had with the detective where he denies knowing anything about his girlfriend's murder. Somebody is inside the building shooting. 911 calls reveal the chaos from inside the Amazon fulfillment center from a deadly September shooting. 
I mean, you, can, you guys can come to Amazon Jackson. Someone just got shot. This surveillance video shows Ebony Nicholas walking down a staircase with her boyfriend, Deshaun Biffle. She's in the black shirt and he's in the red hoodie. The employees appear to get into a scuffle. Nicholas takes off. Soon after, investigators say Biffle shot Nicholas, killing her, before police say he turned the gun on himself. Oh my God, How many people been shot, ma'am? I have two employees that are um, one looks unconscious, the other is breathing, but it looks like someone was shot. An employee describes the scene. The firearm is left in the, on the floor right now. This is the gun investigators say they found inside. Evidence markers are seen scattered on the floor. This picture shows Biffle in the hospital, where a detective pays him a visit. The reason that we're talking to you today uh, is because something happened. And so for us to understand what happened, we need to talk to you. I don't remember. Are you aware that she's dead? Hmm? Dead. Despite his fogged memory, Biffle is charged with second-degree murder. Biffle is currently being held in Duval County Jail, and he's expected to go to trial in July. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll hear more from the conversation he had with detectives and where the detectives asked Biffle about why that shooting happened and what led up to it. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. A lot of these instances are actually domestic violence. So, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend situations, jealousy, I can understand. You know, I don't know if you've heard the rumor about Amazon workers, but hey, you, there's a lot of work wives and work husbands out there. So, um, you know, <laughs> it gets a little crazy with jealousy and inside relationships. I'm not going to get into that. I don't even think I'm ever going to touch that one on the video, but let's just get right into this next video. A normally busy Amazon warehouse less than two weeks before Christmas. Now a crime scene. I heard just a pop, 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 pop. Brighton Bobbitt was in his delivery van in the Amazon warehouse parking lot when the shooting started. As soon as I saw employees running, I just put my van in drive and got out of here as quickly as I could. Chandler police say a man drove into the parking lot Wednesday morning and opened fire. I went across the street to the Circle K. Once I got there, I was like, okay, I'm safe. The shooter hit an Amazon contract employee with multiple shots. Police say he's expected to survive but had life-threatening injuries. A sign at the parking lot says no weapons allowed, but a third person, also an Amazon contract worker, was in the parking lot, pulled out his own gun, and shot back, killing the shooter. He did come to an aid of an individual who was being shot by our suspect. So, and then, so in that case, I would say he is a good Samaritan. From Sky 12, you can see the huge hole in the window of what police say is the shooter's car. Evidence markers all over the ground. Workers evacuated from the warehouse. Chandler police say they don't know why the guy started shooting, but they're looking into whether he could have had bigger plans. We don't know what our uh, mindset of our shooter was. Um, it's very likely, though, that uh, the uh, contract employee who returned fire on the shooter could have stopped an active shooter. An Amazon spokesman sent a statement saying the company was saddened by what happened and saying they were cooperating with investigators. Amazon said the warehouse closed for the day and employees were sent home with pay. Well, Madison police confirming that the shooting happened at around 12.30 this morning. Right now, we have no word on how many people might have been injured here, but this frightening situation took place at the Amazon Fulfillment Center at 7001 Volmer Road in Madison. We could see employees leaving the facility after the situation unfolded. None of them spoke or gave any details as to what might have happened inside. Right now, there we have not gotten any information about the shooter or if any victims have been transported to area hospitals. But police are assuring us this morning that there is no immediate threat to any homes or buildings in the immediate area. And back here live, we have reached out to Amazon for comment, but we have not heard back. And we will bring you more details as they become available. An employee is dead following a shooting outside an Amazon facility in the airport area. Now police need your help finding the person responsible. WRG's Kwametra Wilburn has the story. It was a busy morning for employees at the Amazon Distribution Center on Holmes Road in the airport area. However, it was an even more hectic night for those who worked the prior shift. 
Memphis police say a man was shot and killed right outside the campus gate just before 8 p.m. Thursday. This woman works at the facility and says she got off work moments before shots rang out. I got messages on Facebook. People started calling me asking me what's all right. Police say a man was found dead near the intersection of Chulahoma and Holmes Road. In a statement, an Amazon spokesperson says, quote, we're deeply troubled by this terrible incident and doing what we can to support our employees, family, and our team. This is an active investigation, and we're cooperating with the Memphis Police Department. Amazon says a shelter in place was put into effect immediately following the incident and was held until staff received the all clear from MPD. The employee we spoke to said, Says she waited outside the building to ensure her colleagues were okay. Probably more than her, but they're like on lockdown, probably towards the back of the gym. They've been on lockdown for like two hours now. Once given the all clear, Amazon says employees were sent home with pay. Despite the precaution, employees say they're still on edge knowing they don't know what led to those fatal shots. I know some people that was here last night and they were scared for their life. Memphis police have not given a motive for the shooting. Put the gun down. Stop the violence. Memphis police have released very little details about the suspect. All they would tell us was that the suspect is between the ages of 20 and 30 years old and was last seen wearing all black clothing. If you know anything, they're asking that you give Crime Stoppers a call with any tips. Reporting for your news leader, Cormitra Woolborn, WREG. You know, it's really unfortunate that this keeps occurring. Hopefully, you know, people are not too stressed out at Amazon or not too jealous about their significant other being there and that, you know, people can just go to work and be safe. This one, unfortunately, wasn't a funny video, but it's definitely informative. And please, like I said, keep in mind, stay safe out here for peak season. There's no need to get upset about a dock door. No need to get upset with a, uh, a staff member inside the building for taking too long to get the lanes loaded. Let's just have some patience for the holiday season. Run it up, make some money, and make it into 2025. All right? Until next time, guys, stay safe and stay motivated.